Hello, Newport family. We are preparing to enter into the season of Lent. And the church, the Big C Church as a whole, has honored a season of Lent, 40 days, uh, to mirror and to walk with Jesus as he spent 40 days in the wilderness. In that time, he was tempted by Satan, and Jesus came out of that time, it says, with the same Holy Spirit that he came into that time with. And so here at Newport, we're doing some adjusting. Uh, we are adjusting our Sunday morning worship, corporate worship experience so that you would find connection with God and connection with God's people in a more unique way uh, than, than we do other Sundays in the year. We want to make sure that in this Lenten time, uh, we, don't, we aren't just giving things up for the sake of giving things up, uh, but that we're making ample room and space to hear from God, to receive from God, to respond to God, and to be in the community that God has given us uh, to learn and to experience and to grow with one another as we hear from God. And so our emphasis is connection, connecting to God and connecting to our neighbor. And so our Sunday morning service is adjusted so that th there would be more opportunity for connection. We do acknowledge this might be uncomfortable as we start or during the whole time. Uh, and we aren't seeking to make you uncomfortable just because we think that's fun. No, we are looking to shake things up a bit uh, so that you might find new avenues of connection. Uh, and so we want you to come and join us. One of the resources that's kind of informing uh, how we're approaching this season of Lent is a book by Ruth Haley Barton. And one of the things she talks about is that uh, transformation really is from God and that we avail our space uh, to be present to God in that. And so on Sunday mornings, our space is going to look different uh, to create that space for us to encounter God and to be transformed in that connection. And so uh, our, our sanctuary space, the chairs will be cleared and there'll be tables and chairs. Uh, the, the pews will still be in, uh, in space so that if you need to be kind of in a space and maybe build more reflective that morning, you have that option. Uh, but part of why we want to do that is for this purpose of fostering connection. And so our, the kind of order of how we gather on Sunday will look a little bit different. We'll have uh, singing as we often do, um, but we'll also have some other ways that we respond with responsive readings and with corporate prayers and with corporate singing kind of all together um, in these different areas and uh, feelings. And also the other thing that we'll do is we'll have some time of connection with one another at tables as a chance to reflect on what we're experiencing and how we're growing. Um, and a part of that, then kind of the central part of what we do with proclamation, where we talk about a sermon, a lot of our time this uh, season will be focused on practicing these things ourselves. Uh, so that we have an opportunity to experience and open ourselves up to the transformative work of God in us that both connects us to God more and helps us to connect to each other more in this season and in this space of opening ourselves up to God for what God might have for us. Mm. We want you to know that we have been praying for you. Mm. Our prayer team has been praying for you. Our staff has been praying for you and for all of us in this time. We're not looking to change things just because it's fun or fancy. Uh, we are looking to find Jesus. And we have been praying that you would come to experience and find a connectional Jesus with you this Lent. So join us. No matter how you are, we welcome you to join us. We would love to see you.